welcome to Tai Chi. Everybody ready? Let's warm up. Hands at your waist, turn your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, Ten. Stretch your neck. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Turn your shoulders. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Expand your chest. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Waist exercise. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Airplane. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Touch toe. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Turn your hips. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Be careful. Shift your weight to the left foot. Good Tai Chi posture. Kick your right foot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Kick your butt. One, two, three. Shift your weight. Four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, 
ten. Turn your knees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Heisman, opening up your span, parallel feet, choose the right side. Cross and sit on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Shift weight, cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Short one. One, two, three, four, five. Other side. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, getting into our good golden cockerel. Good Tai Chi posture. Dropping the shoulders. Make sure they're dropped. Tucking that butt. Hollowing out the chest. Chin slightly down, glance ahead. Good thoughts going on in your mind, tongue on your palate. Head straight up, here we go. Shift weight, spiral, counterbalance, root down, shift the weight, counterbalance, push down, pull up. Last set, last one. Okay, kicking out, 50-50. Gather the energy, shift the weight to the left. Right hand on the outside, right kick coming up. Follow, shift weight, center, and follow. Counterbalance too. Set. Warming up with our alignment, T stance, holding your ball, T stance, L stance, move the energy, turn the hips and waist, bottom hand advances, bow stance. Sit back and sit down, twist step, center with a ball on a T stance, step out on an L, move the energy, bottom hand advances to go up the horse's mane. Sit back, sit down, twist step, center with a ball on a T, step out on an L, move the energy, turn the hips and waist, bow stance. Sit back, sit down, twist step, center with a ball and a T, step out on an L, bottom hand advances to go up to horse's mane. Sit back, sit down. This time we're going to twist step and we're going to brush our knee. Right hand higher, left hand to our shoulder, T stance. Three things happen, here we go. Ear, hand down, heel out, turn the hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, left hand higher, right hand to the shoulder, T stance. Step out on an L, move that energy, turn the hips and waist to brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, set it up correctly. All together, ear, hand down, heel out, turn hips and waist, brush knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, Left hand higher, right hand to your shoulder, T, all together. Ear, hand down, heel out, turn hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, right hand higher. All together, ear, hand down, heel out, turn hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step. Left hand higher, all together. Ear, hand down, heel down, turn hips and waist, brush your knee. 
sit back, sit down, twist step, one more set, right hand higher, T stance, all together. Ear, hand down, heel out, turn hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, left hand higher, right hand to your shoulder, T, all together. Ear, hand down, heel out, turn hips and waist, brush your knee. Sit back, sit down, twist step, hold your ball on the T stance, okay? We're gonna ward off this time, okay? Root down on the right to show me that you have energy stored. We're gonna use our forearm of our bottom hand or left hand to forearm our opponent. T stance, L stance, turn the hips and waist, bottom hand advances to forearm our opponent. Turn our hips and waist, reposition our hands as if to pull down the opponent or grasp the bird's tail. Turn at the hips and waist to look back, contact, turn at the hips and waist, center of the body, push the energy through, separate the hands and roll back and sit down. Spiral up and lunge forward. Sit back, sit down. Twist step, holding your ball on a T stance. Step out on an L, move the energy, turn the hips and waist, bottom hand advances to forearm. Turn the hips and waist, reposition hands, grasp the bird's tail. Turn at the hips and waist to look back. Contact, turn again, push from the center. Separate the energy, roll back and sit down. Spiral up and lunge forward. Sit back, sit down, twist step, T stance, L stance, forearm or ward off. Turn hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn, push from the center, separate the energy, roll back and sit down, spiral up lunge forward, sit back, sit down, twist step, T stance, holding your ball, out into the side L, bottom hand advances to ward off, turn hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail, contact, turn again, push from the center, separate, roll back, sit down, spiral up, Lunge forward. One more time, get it better. Sit back, sit down. Twist step, hold your ball. T stance, step out on an L. Bottom hand advances to ward off your opponent. Push him out. Turn hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail or pull down your opponent. Contact, turn, push from the center. Separate, roll back and sit down. One more time, you have to push him up and push him out, forcing you to use your core. Sit back, sit down. Twist step, T stance, hold, a ball, hold your ball. Step out, L. Bottom hand advances to forearm. Turn the hips and waist, grasp the bird's tail. Contact, turn, center push. Separate, roll back, sit down. Spiral up, lunge forward. Okay, one last one, no words. Hold your ball. Begin. And with holding a ball. Okay, now let's go over cloud hands, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're going to part the wild horse's mane to the right, okay? Everybody like me? We're gonna part the wild horse's mane. Do you have energy stored on your left or back foot? If so, the, 
the leg should be fle the knee should be flexed to keep your advancing right foot weightless. And do you have your right hand on the bottom and the right foot ready to go? That's how you know that you're in the correct posture. We're going to part the wild horse's mane. Here we go. T stance, L stance. Bottom hand advances, move the energy to go up the horse's mane. To get into cloud hands, you flip the forward hand so you no longer see the palm. You join it with the left or back hand where you can see the palm. You're at three o'clock and you're in good Tai Chi posture. Is your spine straight up? Sit back, sit down. Twist step. Move with the twist step. You're at 12 o'clock. The stem of the left hand sort of points to the 12. The right hand dangles by your two inches below your navel. You want to get out to the nine o'clock. What are we gonna do? You're gonna pivot on your left heel and turn your hips and waist. Here we go. Pivot on your left heel. That's nine o'clock. What do we do at nine? Two things. We flip the hands, we close the feet. Do we have a stem and cup at, no, at 12? At three o'clock, we move our hips and waist to get to three, two things happen. We flip the hands, we open the feet. Shifting the weight to the left, we're at 12 o'clock. Turn our hips and waist to get out to nine. One thing happens, just flip the hand. Turn the hips and waist to get to 12. Turn the hips and waist to get to three, but two things happen. Flip the hands, close the feet. Brings you to 12. Nine o'clock, two things happen. Flip the hands, open the feet. But we need to get out of cloud hands, so at three o'clock we only flip the hands. But at 12 o'clock, we shift our weight to the left and we bring right hand up, right foot up, and we're a golden cockerel. And we shift our weight and we're another golden cockerel. Okay? So let's go over cloud hands again. How do we get into cloud hands? We're on a T stance and we're going right to part the wild horse's mane. Right foot's ready to go, so right hand's on the bottom, two inches below your navel. Left hand is on the top. We have energy. Where's the energy stored? The left or back foot, therefore I should flex my knee to create a weightless front right foot. We're on a T stance. The pattern says from a T stance you go into an L stance and a bow stance. So a T stance, L stance, move the energy, bottom hand advances to go up the horse's mane. Bow stance. Flip the forward hand, join it with the back hand. What does the, what does the pattern say now? In a bow stance, you have to sit back and you have to sit down on that imaginary stool. Then we've got a twist, and that brings us to 12 o'clock. A stem and a dangling right hand. We want to get out to the nine o'clock, so what do we do? pivot on our left heel. There's nine o'clock. But two things happen. Flip the hands, close the feet. Twelve o'clock, stem and a cup. Turn with your hips and waist to three o'clock. Two things happen. Flip the hands, open the feet. Twelve o'clock, stem and a cup. Nine o'clock, only one thing happens. That's flipping the hand. Turn the hips and waist to get to 12. Three o'clock, two things happen. Flip the hands, close the feet. 12 o'clock, nine o'clock, two things happen. Flip the hands, open the feet. But at three o'clock, only one thing happens. Because at 12 o'clock, we shift our weight to the left and we come up as a golden cockerel. And down and do the other side. Okay, so what I'm doing is going over all our movements, um, maybe a little bit down deeper, depending on how much, where you're at in your journey, okay? Then I want to string them along. So we've covered 
uh, at least half. So now we're going to cover uh, commencing form and repulsing of the monkey. Okay, so I'm going to show it to you f uh, in this view, and then later I'll turn around and we'll drill it. Okay, so and you can be listening, you can be doing, but just know that you're going to be on the on the different side as I am. So when we commence, we're in good Tai Chi posture, which is very important because Tai Chi posture has to stay with you for the duration of the of the set duration of the form, whether it's five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, for that entire time. So if you're not net, you're beginning and you're not in Tai Chi posture, I can probably guess that you cannot get yourself into Tai Chi posture, which is then incorrect. All your movements will then be a little short of what Tai Chi is. So while I say the elements, you implement them. So. Stiffen up like a soldier, and then drop your shoulder. So this is where you're dropping your shoulder. Your butt should have tucked under. If it's not, do it again. Stiffen the shoulder, and drop the shoulder, tuck the butt, okay? So when you tuck the butt, the, the chest hollowed out or dipped in. So that's where we want to be. The head is erect. The chin is not parallel to the ground, but slightly downward. But the glance is ahead, okay? Head is straight up. The knees are not totally bent, but they are relaxed because there's gonna be movement. But no movement has yet begun. So therefore, the knee cannot dip down. The knee has to be just relaxed. So let's figure this out. We're gonna tighten our knees and lock our knee, lock that knee. We don't want that, so what do we do? Just relax it a little bit, relax it a little bit, okay? So this is good Tai Chi posture. Your hands are at the, the middle finger to the side, seam of your pants. When we commence, we're at 50-50, even distributed weight. But in order to move, Tai Chi says, only the weightless foot can move. Therefore, the other foot that's grounded has to collect all the body weight. So if we're at 50-50, we want to move the weight of our left foot onto our right, so it increases by increments. 60, 70, 80, 90, and at 90, we should be at our toe, because 100 will give us the the time to then lift off, come down 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 50, 50 back again. We rotate slightly to the center of our, our thigh. We take a deep breath in and we engage our core as if we were pulling up water, drawing up water. At shoulder level, we reverse the process. We push down the water and we ground down by making our feet heavier. So we're engaging the core. Push down the water, flex the knee, because it's more powerful. The left hand stays in the center. Realize that I'm my, it's my left too. The right hand or back hand rises up higher. We're glancing. We're not looking like this, but we glance at the back hand while it draws closer to your head or ear. You turn your head and neck at the same time. You meet the hands in the middle. One ball is being caught straight on. The other ball is coming from the ceiling. At this point, when I say meet in the center, you push the top hand forward and you pull the back, bottom hand back as if to repulse the monkey. And you see where I skimmed? I come back to my hip, okay? If you're high this way, which you shouldn't be, you come down this way, you will fear, feel more grounded, okay? We have to do the other side. Leave the front hand in the center as you watch the other hand rise up higher, then you open the palm of the forward hand to the ceiling. Follow that back hand to the ear, turn the head and neck, 
meet in the center as if you're catching two different balls, slide. Center, higher, glance, open, ear, turn, meet, slide. Center, higher, open, glance, ear, turn, head and neck, meet in the center, slide. Center, higher, glance, open, ear, turn head and neck, meet, repulsing of the monkey. Center, higher, glance, open, ear, turn, meet, slide. Center, higher, open, glance, watch, meet, repulse of the monkey. Center, higher, open, glance, ear, turn head and neck, meet, slide. Last one, center, higher, glance, open, ear, turn, meet, slide. Okay, can you remember all of that? Let's do a silent one then. You're here, okay? Run through the keywords in your own mind. One more. Then ask yourself, is that right hand skimming the hips and wait, skimming the hip? Well, just below the, just below the waist, okay? So it should sit back like this. Okay, you can rest, put your hands down. So in the real uh, movement of repulsing the monkey, it's a backwards motion. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, okay? So when we repulse the monkey in the 24, we do it like how I just taught you, but we have to walk backwards. If we did not have the strength or the knowledge of how to walk backwards, it would not be safe. So three things happen. to do it four times. So, I don't know how much you uh, could tie in, but because you were walking backwards in the 24, which is the gold standard, Yang 24, and Yang 10 form, which is what we're learning, came from that original uh, form, we have to use the correct technique. You can't just say, oh, this is an easier abbreviated thing and not practice good, good Tai Chi. So therefore, it's important when you draw back when you draw back, what am I doing? I'm keeping this as my support here. I'm obeying gravity because only the weightless foot then can come up, come up. And this is giving me some support here because I'm centered when I finally release and lift, I have to then make sure that I'm stable but if I have two weighted feet, and now this is helping me because the weight is on the back. I drew back to keep this front, per, front foot weightless. And then this helps me because it's counterbalancing what I want to do, okay? So later on we can learn that, but that's why I'm stressing good uh, techniques right now. All right, so we did uh, commencing form, repulsing the monkey, 
Brushni, this is the order in which the 10 sequences go. Uh, Brushni, part the wild horse's mane, cloud hands, and we already know how to do golden cockerel and kick out. Now we have to do, uh, and we ward it off. The only segment that we didn't do is uh, closing form, okay? So when we close, you're gonna watch first because I would be closing this way and you won't know what my hands are doing. Therefore, I will demonstrate so that you could see. So in closing form, we have just um, grasped the bird's tail by warding off and then uh, grasping the bird's tail, pushing our opponent out. Bow stance, straight arrow, uh, bow, arrow, push out. To close, you have to sit back and you have to sit down. Imaginary stool there, twist, bottom matches the top or top matches the bottom, out, pivot, in, pivot, embrace the tiger with the right hand inside the cross. Keep the fingers down, okay, otherwise you're going to have problems. This is my weighted foot. I want to close my feet together, okay? So I want to bring my feet together because that's how I started. I embrace the tiger. Make sure that's weighted down to create a weightless foot to bring it here. Turn or rotate on my wrist so that the palms are now facing upwards. I bring the tiger or the energy all the way up to my chest. I bring the tiger closer to me, slightly closer. Each time I'm doing this movement, my wrists are engaged because the core, the energy needs to push, the left wrist has to push out the right. Create that separation of energy. I come down by dropping, dropping my shoulders, flexing my knees, let gravity bring me down. I wrap around because that's how I started. I come up with my heel, come off off the ground. I bring the toe down, arch down, and the heel down, okay? So that's what we're gonna practice. All right. So to close, we are in a bow stance. Left, right foot forward, left foot 45. And we just, oops, sorry, this way. Left foot forward, right foot 45. We just pushed out our opponent. We're gonna close our form. First apparently and then close, okay? We're in a bow stance. We need to sit back and sit down. Twist step on the left heel. Open pivot on the right heel. In pivot of the right heel. Embrace the tiger. How do you embrace? Right hand on the inside of the cross. Keep the fingers slanted and down. Left foot has all your weight. Increase that so that you can bring the right foot over. Rotate on the wrist so now you can see the palms. You're gonna collect the energy or grab the tiger. Bring him up. Engage the wrist. At chest level, slightly bring him in. Use the left, the force or energy of the left wrist to push out the right. What happens? Palms are down, they're separated, their energy. Then what? Drop the shoulders, flex the knees, let gravity take you back home, slightly wrap, heel up, toe off the ground, toe arch heel, closing form. One more time. Left foot forward, right foot 45, bow stance, push the guy out. Sit back, sit down, twist step, Open twist, in twist, embrace, right hand on the inside, move the foot over, rotate on the wrist, collect the energy, bring it up, bring him up, bring him slightly closer, push him out. Palms are down, drop the shoulders, flex the knees, tuck the elbow, wrap around, heel up, off the ground, toe arch heel. Okay, one more time. Left foot forward. Push the opponent out. Sit back, sit down. Twist step, twist step, in step. Embrace, move over, rotate. Collect that energy, push him closer to your chest. Push him out. 
Palms are down, make yourself small. How? Drop your shoulders, tuck your elbow, let gravity take you. All back, home. 